Brazil is home to one of the largest ecosystems in the world, especially since it houses the Amazon forest. In that region, people are told to expect just about anything, as there are creatures or plants that are still undiscovered. This is what has prompted us to look at 20 unsettling discoveries in Brazil nobody can explain. Pink Dolphin The Amazon River, which crosses into Brazil's territory, is home to some incredible species. Many are unique to that part of the world, and there's still so much that scientists don't know about what else might lurk beneath the surface. But one species that's been discovered is the Amazon River Dolphin. What's so strange about this animal is that it's actually pink. There isn't any hard evidence to explain the dolphin's coloration, although the predominant theory is that they're battle scars. The belief is that the pinker a dolphin is, the more fights it's been involved with and therefore the more attractive they are to a mate. What we do know is that it's the largest species of river dolphin and that the impressive animals are unfortunately on the brink of extinction. In legend, the pink river dolphins are said to transform into humans at night and will attempt to seduce nearby women. Of course, this isn't true, but that hasn't stopped locals from claiming that their women have fallen pregnant because of the dolphins. The folktale does add even more depth to these mysterious creatures. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. If you've ever seen the movie Journey to the Mysterious Island, then you'd understand what goes on in the Amazon. Or let's say Brazil. That place has diverse creatures that most people have never seen or heard about. In fact, going there means you're ready to face the possibility of being faced with bizarre and unsettling things. It's not really a place to go on vacation unless you want to unlock the explorer in you. But before you go, you should know that recently what scientists found in Brazil shocked the whole world. They discovered a creature that was bigger than the anaconda, and it could literally swallow a person whole. You can see the sheer size of the creature in this image, especially when compared to people standing beside it. This is one creature you don't want to come face to face with. But first, what is it? Is it a snake? Or maybe it's a large fish? We can't say, but we would love for you to share your opinion with us in the comment section. You can do that by using the hashtag Sweet Topic, and we'd love to know what you think. Pantanal What you cannot forget is that there are some absolutely stunning locations across Brazil. Regardless of the unsettling things that may be found there, it's a destination unlike any other. And the Pantanal proves it. There's something so hauntingly beautiful about this harsh location which harbors life on another level despite its inhospitable nature. It's often thought of as one of Brazil's best kept secrets, but we're kicking that door down. It's a natural region which encompasses the world's largest tropical wetlands. 80% of the grasslands in the area are submerged during the rainy seasons, and this has promoted a wonderfully diverse array of creatures to thrive. In Brazil, it can be found in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul and in Mato Grosso but it also runs into both Paraguay and Bolivia. Because of its size, scientists still haven't discovered all of its hidden secrets, but research into the Pantanal is ongoing. With a carefully balanced ecosystem that includes everything from capybaras to yacare caiman, visitors need to be very careful of whether they're being watched as predators or as prey. One thing's for certain, despite the dangers the discovery might promote, it must be protected from climate change and human expansion at all costs. Massive Anaconda Ophidiophobia seems like a complex term, but it simply refers to a fear of snakes. Most phobias are founded in unsubstantiated terror that the thing to be feared could cause danger, when really it couldn't. But perhaps a fear of snakes is to be encouraged in Brazil. After all, locals have discovered a massive anaconda, which is absolutely terrifying. Thought to live in dark and damp habitats, such as caves, one particular anaconda was 33 feet in length. To give that context, that's longer than the length of a London's famous big red bus. The monster, which was found by a group of Brazilian construction workers, weighed a whopping 900 pounds. The good news is that an anaconda, regardless of its size, isn't poisonous. However, it does kill by coiling its body around its prey and squeezing out air and eventually the life out of them. An anaconda that big definitely wouldn't have any problems taking down a human. 
At that size, it could probably bring down an elephant. A Tradokoana isolti. Genuine new discoveries happen a lot more often than you think. Considering humankind has been on this planet for quite a while, it seems strange that there's anything left to find. But there's so much we don't know. Take this creature, for example. It was just over 12 years ago that the Madeira River in Rondania, Brazil was completely drained. At its base were multiple snakes which have become known as this animal. They look completely unsettling and the blind creatures have been given a rather unsavory nickname, which they're still known as today. They measure up to a meter long, are grayish in their coloration and are thought to breathe through their skin. While there have been rumored sightings of the animal since 1968, it was this more recent finding that truly excited scientists. Said to be related to frogs and salamanders, there's a lot left to discover about this non-reptilian snake. Just keep it away from us. Bone Crushing Crocodile Modern crocodiles and alligators are terrifying enough. They're big, they're nasty, and they have no problem chomping through their prey. To learn of a bone crushing crocodile seems all the more unsettling. But these horrific creatures once walked the earth and the fossils of one of them has been discovered in Brazil. The rare find was located in Aguda Hill, near the city of Porto Alegre. This reptilian ancestor to today's crocs lived over 230 million years ago. While its size can't be correctly estimated at this stage, it's safe to say that it was far bigger than any modern animal of the same species. Thought to be a scavenger, the bone-crushing crocodile would have feasted on the remains of dying or dead dinosaurs. The fossil demonstrates a few similarities to the Tyrannosaurus rex and could certainly have starred in a Jurassic Park movie as a villain to be dreaded. There's no telling what other fossils nod towards Brazil's deadly history. Brazilian Tree Frogs Frogs are often considered to be quite cute, but it's important to not forget that many of these amphibians are actually poisonous. The Brazilian tree frog is pretty sweet on the surface and doesn't seem to pose a direct threat to humans, but scientists have only just encountered behavior from the Brazilian tree frog, which is unlike anything seen before. Frogs are usually carnivorous and would prefer to snack on a juicy insect rather than a plant. However, strangely, these tree frogs have been seen eating nectar from milk fruit flowers and sometimes even the fruit itself. To get to the good stuff, they move their body into the flowers and emerge covered in pollen. They then pollinate the nearby wildlife, helping the plants to spread. This has been observed just outside of Rio de Janeiro, where the milk fruit flowers are covered in tree frogs. No other frog has done this and it's not entirely clear why the Brazilian's tree frog is unique to its actions. But it's certainly a good thing, as the more animals who are a part of the pollination process, the better. Sometimes we have to just wait and watch to discover new things. The best way to get in tune with our planet is to peacefully look on and let nature do the rest. Snake Island The Brazilian mainland is already packed full of dangerous and unsettling discoveries that sure put off any tourist planning on exploring the wilderness. However, off the coast of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean is an island named Ilha de Camida Grande. Spanning a tiny 43 hectares, there's another name for this gorgeous space, Snake Island. Protected and off-limits to the public, Snake Island is so-called because of its huge array of reptilian inhabitants. There's an overwhelming number of serpents on this island, but there's a particularly special member of this snake family. Snake Island is home to the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper. This snake cannot be found anywhere else in the world because it was trapped in this area after the Ice Age. The endangered species is very poisonous and thereby absolutely deadly. In fact, the snakes are so dangerous that it's actually illegal for anyone to go to the island. They're known to hide in the luscious growth, waiting to strike out at its prey. It's a nightmarish thought, but that hasn't stopped researchers from studying this carefully curated ecosystem in more detail. Brazilian Wandering Spider Where there's snakes, they're usually spiders, and you won't believe how terrifying some of these creepy crawlies can be. Most people are used to the common house spider, but in Brazil, there are far deadlier arachnids. The Brazilian wandering spider is among the most poisonous spiders in the world, and it isn't just limited to Brazil. In fact, these spiders have been found as far as London, England, after getting transported overseas on a bunch of bananas. The official name for this species is Phonutria, 
which appropriately means murderous in Greek. They're referred to as wandering, as they don't spin webs and stay in place, instead moving across their terrain to hunt their prey. The spiders deliver a neurotoxic venom through their bite, but luckily anti-venoms have been created to help survive the traumatic incident. There are nine different iterations of this nocturnal species found across Brazil, and their bodies can reach up to two inches in size. But don't be too worried about studying your fruit baskets. It turns out that many of the spiders that are identified internationally as a Brazilian watering actually look alike and are not poisonous. Go to Brazil and you'll find out the real deal. Horrific Rituals of Ancient Brazil The natural world is haunting enough, but mankind has left a few of its own horrors behind. Brazil has a rich and complex history, and blood has been spilled on its soil in the most brutal of ways. In the archaeological site of Lapa do Santo, experts discovered graves that were over 9,500 years old. That's a discovery that's unsettling enough by itself. However, upon further inspection, it appears that the bodies inside the grave site were subjected to terrible rituals, likely religious in nature. The teeth of each person had been removed, and in some places, so had their skin. But what was worse was that there were signs of cannibalism, with the rituals concluding with the attackers eating their friends and loved ones. The evidence of these terrible acts is almost too gruesome to bear, although it does seem to be a practice saved only for the dead and was not a method of killing. It's probably best that these funeral traditions stay in the past. Giant Centipedes Why does everything seem to be supersized in Brazil? From snakes to crocodiles, there's a lot of evidence that the predators of the South American country are made bigger and badder. However, Brazil is also home to the creepy giant centipede and is a little less likely to kill you. The centipede is often found in the Amazon rainforest. Humans might be off the menu, but the giant centipede is still carnivorous and will make quick work of smaller insects and has been known to eat frogs, lizards, rodents, and even snakes. Some of these centipedes can grow up to 12 inches and pack a powerful bite used to dispatch their prey. They'll arch their bodies, rise up from the ground, and then latch onto their dinner, injecting them with a deadly sting. There's one thing we forgot to mention. There actually is one human death from this alien creature. So if you're ever in the Brazilian rainforest, don't forget to look where you step, mysterious two-headed bat. It's not often that experts are completely baffled by an animal as simple as a bat. But Brazil has managed to come up with its own brand of flying mammal that defies all explanations. In only the third case registered in history, Brazilian scientists in 2017 started to study a two-headed bat. It's an incredibly rare find and one that raises more questions. The species is known as Artabias and was identified as a set of conjoined twins. They were newborns and had died as soon as they were born. They were even still wrapped up with their umbilical cord. The fruit-eating bat had two spines and two hearts, but only one arm and one claw on either side. The two-headed beast is equally fascinating and creepy, and it's unclear whether there was an anomalous creation or the next step in the bat's evolution. If this is how bats in Brazil will look in the future, then we probably won't ever be going out at night. Ancient Termite Megalopolis We're very focused on what's above the ground, but maybe we should be worried about what's beneath it. In Brazil, a 4,000-year-old termite mound was discovered, linked to a huge network of tunnels and other mounds. There are more than 200 million mounds in total and are so large that they can be seen from a satellite in space. To truly understand their scale, a comparison is needed. Think about the size of Great Britain. Well, this termite megalopolis covers an area even bigger than that. The soil that's to be excavated to create such an impressive structure is the equivalent to 14 Great Pyramids of Giza. While there's nothing directly threatening about a termite, aside from how unnerving the creepy crawlies can be, imagine how many termites it took to build this network is chilling. Their age is of particular interest because the hills can be dated as far back as the oldest known termite mounds in existence. Those ancient termites didn't mess around. Ancient Giant Tunnels The tunnels that a termite could make are tiny in comparison to some of the prehistoric animals that have become known as megafauna. Brazil housed a fair few giant creatures, 
including animals like giant armadillos and giant sloths that roamed the earth thousands of years ago. These monsters would dig holes and burrow into the ground, hiding from predators and sheltering from extreme weather conditions. How do we know this? Because many of those tunnels still remain. Across regions in Brazil, such as Rondonio, Monte Bonito, and Santa Canarina, these paleo burrows have been discovered. They seem like giant caves to us, but it doesn't take much to truly visualize the true scale of the animals that made them. There's simply no other natural process in the world that could craft such a massive and perfectly formed tunnel, so experts have to conclude that this terrifying answer is the right one. Earth's changing atmosphere and climate alongside species evolution has ensured that today's sloths aren't capable of digging such big tunnels. But the planet is always changing, and maybe one day megafauna will find a use for these shelters again. Anapiagma arvents. There's so much in Brazil that could kill you, but it's important to focus on some of the things that could heal you. There's a plant in Brazil, which grows in the Cerrado vegetation, which has many medicinal properties. It's anti-inflammatory, an antioxidant, used in cancer treatments, and is even anti-malarial. A plant like that should be celebrated, and we're still finding more ways to use this Brazilian miracle. But what's unsettling is that the plant is endangered. Despite its many benefits, it has to be protected because it's being killed off due to its popularity and changing growing conditions. The shrub could provide so many more answers, and it's heartbreaking that we have to limit our use of it because of its rarity. What's ironic is that despite its unbelievable powers, it easily blends in and doesn't look special at all. It's a lesson that just because it isn't bright or bold, it shouldn't be undervalued or overlooked. The Fire-Tailed Monkey It's such an exciting prospect to discover a new species, and the fire-tailed monkey was only found as recently as 2019. Known officially as a titi monkey, the distinctive reds, yellows, and oranges of its fur have inspired the fiery nickname. They've been studied in southwestern Brazil, but strangely, this isn't actually our first encounter with this species. The monkeys have been studied as early as 1904, but were misidentified. Unfortunately, the unsettling thing is that we've only found out that it's a brand new species because of their sudden appearance. It's actually being driven from its home due to deforestation, which is destroying so many natural habitats. Conservation efforts are in place to support any creatures impacted by human meddling but only time will tell whether the stunning fire-tailed monkey can survive this threat. Rock Art of Serra de Cap The Serra de Capivara National Park is a must-visit place for anyone going to Brazil for the first time. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site for a reason, with its beautiful flora and imposing rocks providing a real sense of the natural history of the region. But the national park isn't just famous for its landscape, it's what humankind has left behind that's both unsettling and intriguing. The rocks here are covered in one of the biggest ancient art collections in the world and some of America's oldest art in existence. There are more than 30,000 of these carvings and they've been created in four distinct styles. They're thought to be over 100,000 years old and provide a crucial link to our past. These rock paintings tell stories depicting people, animals, and places in incredible detail. Hunting, love, combat, and even dancing all form a part of this rich tapestry. The art provides an insight into a people that were not so different from us, despite such a massive separation in the timeline. There's much more that can be taken from these narratives, and researchers will continue studying the site now that it's been made far more accessible. Having previously been almost unreachable due to the inhospitality of the environment, it must have felt truly massive to finally discover this artistic display in all its glory. Dragonfish A group of scientists were exploring the Fernando de Noronha archipelago of the Atlantic Ocean, just off the coast of northeastern Brazil. They were researching for something special, and they found it. Special and unsettling. On that trip, the scientists discovered a new species, and nobody can explain how it had never been seen before. Named the Melanostomius Dio after heavy metal legend Ronnie James Dio, who popularized the devil horn finger symbol, the creature is a type of dragonfish. It has horns just like the devil and terrifying razor-sharp teeth. The nightmarish sea dweller is said to be a lazy predator, 
waiting for its prey to swim by before it strikes with a vengeance. More research is needed to actually understand the fish, especially because we have no idea how many there are out there. It's possible that fishermen have found many and simply throw them back out to sea, never documenting the strange oceanic monsters. But what's even more likely is that we'd never found it before because the dragonfish was in the murky depths of the sea, waiting for its kill. Horned Beast Bahia is a state in Brazil and is known for its rich culture, diverse cities, and immense coastline. But an urban legend has emerged from the area because of a picture no one was supposed to see. An infamous photo surfaced of the Bahia Horned Beast, a strange creature blurred and far out. The image has become famous across the world, and it's supposedly not a fake or a hoax. It depicts a horned animal that looks humanoid, but beastly. It's moving out to a small body of water, perhaps to drink, having left the security of the trees behind. While it doesn't seem like an immediate threat, it's a terrifying discovery and has left experts scratching their heads. Maybe this is a person that belongs to a tribe we have no knowledge of, who uses disguises to hide themselves as monsters. Or perhaps there really is an animal out there like this that we've never got to have contact with. Our advice is don't go searching for this Bahia beast, Stonehenge. You've heard of Stonehenge, haven't you? Well, maybe not this one. Did you know that Brazil has their own version of the British structure, which was first reported in the 19th century? This site is located in the Amapa state. The Stonehenge is constructed like the British version and is monolithic circle made from 127 blocks of granite. One of the biggest mysteries of these ancient sites is their purpose. Experts are always baffled by what the Stonehenges were built for, and that's the case with this Amazonian version. It might be for religious purposes, to mark some great occasion, or could have even been for more sinister uses. The shadows that the Stonehenge cast might be part of the answer, but ultimately the indigenous people of Brazil could have found burial, astronomical, or ceremonial uses for the site. There are so many questions that we'd love to have answered about who actually built the Stonehenge as well. But one strange fact remains, a mysterious health condition in Brazil which only affects a small number of people, has been named after the Stonehenge. There are no known reasons behind the link between the site and the nauseating headache-like symptoms, but the very existence of the shared name does make the location that much more unsettling. Brazilian Atlantis Atlantis is the stuff of legend. Although most experts believe that the existence of an ancient underwater city is pure fiction, that hasn't stopped the many expeditions that have set out to prove the scientific community wrong. Maybe there's an Atlantis out there, considering what geologists have found in Brazil. Off the coast of Rio in the Atlantic Ocean, deep-sea explorers have discovered the remains of a continent that's been lost to time. Dubbed the Brazilian Atlantis, scientists have sent submersibles down to gather more data and cement their theories of their unsettling encounter. The theory is that this section of the continent was sunk when Africa and South America drifted apart over a hundred million years ago. While the real Atlantis is said to be a lost city which was built by an ancient civilization of great importance, the Brazilian version seems to be far less developed. Nonetheless, there could be whole worlds beneath the sea left to explore, with the waves blocking us from unlocking its secrets.